here we go. Are we streaming? Yes. There's intro music. See, I'd have yelled this time, but you're probably not recording. No, I am now. Yeah, well, but is there totally audio? Totally wasted that joke, so... <laughs> not doing it again. All right. So, if Hazel will lay down... Um, where did Michelle go? I think she morphed into a messy bed. There she is. Okay. So, who remembers when last we left, where last we left off? I got a contract that vanished into the air. We were in the bar. You guys had gotten back from the bar, silly. Your day is over. It is a oh. new day. Yes, it is. Did we sleep well? See, that's the interesting thing about uh, about sleeping around here. You slept about as well as you could. However, lately, maybe it's the stress or maybe it's the things that are going on that are just kind of making it a little harder to sleep more soundly. But you find that the last couple of days... Your thoughts have drifted a bit. Your mind has wandered. You haven't been able to fall asleep as easy. And when you sleep, your sleep has felt kind of cloudy. And when you wake up, it's not quite the sleep it used to be. So it's just an everyday for me? Yes. I'm not stressed. Well, that's good. I feel like I've been sleeping fine. Well, considering you've moved from sleeping on rocks to sleeping in a bed, that would be an improvement. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, when the new day comes, each of you has a morning ritual to begin. Does anybody remember what that morning ritual is? Getting asked Sacrificing virgins? No, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Not in a blood sort of. Oh, okay. And I'm leaving. So, I heard Whitney answer the question correctly with answering questions. So, what the fam hands want to know is what would each of you like for your birthday? Who wants to go first? I went first last time. Okay. I can go. Go ahead. What do you want for your birthday? What I would really like is a piccolo. I'm hoping to branch out into a new instrument, and I think that would be a great fit for me. And it's nice and light, so it's easy to carry around. Excellent. Are you going to get me one? There's no reply back. Oh, well, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Who's next? I'll take a bunch of currency. <laughs> Maybe a really powerful magic item. <laughs> you got rich friends, huh? I'm looking at you guys when I say that. <laughs> That's, that's what I, that's what I expect for my birthday. <laughs> well, it's expect us to be rich celebrating. friends. <laughs> All right, let's see if let's see if if the fam hands can guess what I want. Uh, they I bet you want to leave out of this fucking caldera. But you want that every day. You gotta pick something special for your birthday. That would be special, because every day it ain't gonna happen. They reply that that's treasonous, so they won't be abiding by that request. Hey. Probably because I used the word fucking. <laughs> you know, fu fucking is treason here. What? <laughs> no, it's not true. 
Now, Fiend or Meg, what would you like for your birthday? It looks like Meg typed an answer. Oh. The three Talmahera? No, I don't think that was his answer. Guys, answer. That hand that controls the world. I don't know. <laughs> For my birthday, that uh, ice cream and ponies. Ice cream and ponies. Just for yourself or Emerson? <laughs> I, I think ponies and ice cream are best with Chad. All right, so everybody gets ice cream and ponies for his birthday. And don't try and turn them into jerky. Oh. Pony jerky? No jerky. All right, Delphine, what about you? Mm. They will not accept a series of dots as a reply. <laughs> What about some new workout equipment? Ooh, oh, maybe I, I could get you some. What? A what? A larger notebook. Oh, for your drawing? What are you drawing? <laughs> Just help. Just holds up a picture of, like, some random guy that you don't know with, like, a knife in his neck. Oh, uh-oh. I hope he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Alright. That leads us to your questions for each other. Who's got some questions they want to ask each other? I will pick it random if I don't get volunteers. <laughs> Charles, Charles now has two headsets on and a phone. <laughs> I have a question. Go for it. What do you do to make your community better? Uh, well, I make sure uh, people are abiding by the laws, and I uh, citizen arrest those that I need to. And like we're that, like we're gonna do today. What does that do? Helps get terrible people off the streets. I think that's two questions. Do you allow two questions? Um, she managed if they managed to answer. <laughs> who's got the next? Who's gonna answer next? What are you doing for your community? I left the last one, then I wound up back here again. That still doesn't answer it. What are you doing to improve I apparently your keep returning. That's what I'm doing to better my community. <laughs> you think it's better with you here? Uh, given the current populace, possibly. All right. Well, Galphine, it's going to be your answer. While Meg currently attends to the the what looks like three phone calls. <laughs> I protect those who deserve to be protected. Yeah, and who chooses that? Are you protector and judge? Oh, there was a shrug there. There wasn't a shrug. That was a kind of shrug. I saw it. <laughs> Just because I adjust myself in the chair does not mean I am shrugging. Nope, shrugged. You also, all saw it. Everyone saw it. Question. Everyone saw it. Are 
Do your drums sound like somebody banging on the pipes? Yeah, actually, it all of a sudden like went crazy and started just like. <laughs> I keep looking around like, who the hell's banging on the damn <laughs> ceiling? What the hell? Oh, roll twenty. It's a quality product. All right. If Charles is off his phone, he can answer the question. Meg can answer. What is Meg doing for the community? This is what I do. I bring a positive energy in person and with my magical spouse. And what I seek to do is to bring that. Not just to the people that need physical healing, but sometimes to people that, you know, need, uh, you know, mental healing and social healing. We, as the Gnomish people, see it as our mission to spread the light and laughter to everyone. All right. A very positive answer from a very positive character. Who's got the next question? Don't I have to answer my own question? Oh, yes, you do. What are you You're doing? going to forget about me, huh? Yes. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, of course I try and bring joy to everybody through my music, through my ukulele, and hopefully after my birthday, through the piccolo, too. Um, but I like trying to bridge bridge relationships where, you know, there may have been past hurts or divides. I want to help people see how they can come together. And I protect kittens. Very good. Questions, questions, who's got the next question? Next question, what are you doing to help get me out of this caldera? <laughs> Nothing. How come you want to leave so much? Uh, that I can. Wait, what was that pingy noise? I don't think James heard you, Charles. I'm doing all that I can to help you out and reaching deep within myself to create a synergistic vibe. Well, at least emotionally, but I think I've already been there. <laughs> All right, there's still one last answer. Well, I'd two like to last answers. You, you'll, you will. You, the, uh, the answers to these questions must be concluded first. And both uh, Tom, or both uh, Zug and Harcourt need to finish the answer to this question. All right. But then you can have next question. Uh, I haven't done anything to help get out of the caldera. Apparently, I'm going to be purchasing three broken tables. That worked so well last time. Last time. I just didn't get to finish the project. All right, Meg, what is your question? As a diverse group of people, um, oh, what are the rest of them? You're going to need to repeat that. It all went haywire. Or type it. Yeah, you may want to just type it. I think, how about now? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, the, uh, there's still a bit of distortion each time. And I don't know if that's, uh, that's internet connectivity or a Discord-related issue. Oh, 
Incoming novel. How are we encouraging diversity in our action? <laughs> By working against the status quo! <laughs> did I call- did I fall into a corporate lecture? <laughs> if you'd like to corporately work against the status quo, I'm all for that too. <clears throat> I need, I need four more answers to this question, please. Uh, I am not attempting to diversify my actions in any way. How about your portfolio? <laughs> no, he's got it all in some company called Blacksmith Inc. <laughs> <laughs> I expect big things from them. <coughs> Try not to die before we finish this. <clears throat> that is true. The gimbals do enjoy marketing buzzwords. I like to encourage diversity by getting to know people and what they're interested. And I like helping to people to achieve their own goals. <laughs> we all have value to bring. Yes, yes, we do. Galphine, before we can have Meg's answer, we're going to need to hear your answer. I don't understand the question. How are you helping to helping diversity by diversity, diversity? I actually forgot that question for a second there. <laughs> How are you encouraging diversity through your actions? <clears throat> you can interpret that question however you want and answer accordingly. <clears throat> it is likely your character would very, very clearly not, would be very unlikely to understand what this question means. Yeah, I'm really not. Okay. <clears throat> 